Kids did a nice job. The first group we started in that half really went out there and took them out of there. They had possession, but we wanted to see what they were going to be doing out there for us. And the first group that started uh, really set the tempo for the second group. And the second group just picked up off and did some things tactically better than maybe the first group. But the first group, we really, they set the tempo tonight. Now, Brendan Murphy's still trying to get back to 100% form. We'll, we'll get to the goal, which he helped set up in just a moment. But I thought, even not counting that goal, I thought he played tremendously tonight in the midfield. I think he did a nice job. I mean, the, the biggest problem was trying to get him to just relax and shoot the ball a little bit more. And that pass he laid off to Yao uh, on the counterattack was a classic counter. And it was great timing on his part, and it was a great finish by Yao. And Adai with the big goal. He's the only guy to score so far this season at the NKU Soccer Stadium for you guys. But last season, he was more of a guy relied on defensively as a freshman. He has turned into quite the nice offensive player. Both of his goals have really been highlight reel-esque goals, and he's done a tremendous job on both sides the ball. He really has. I mean, last year we played him as a defender because we needed him back there. He's very versatile. He can play outside mid, he can play up top, but he's so strong on the ball and he's quick and he's athletic that he's going to cause some people a lot of problems. They just have to keep an eye on him. He may not finish all of his chances, but he's quick enough to cause some problems. Now you mentioned off camera any win against someone above you in the table is a big one, but you look, you guys beat the second place team, East Tennessee State, tonight. You've already beaten Lipscomb, who's just behind you. All of a sudden, you guys are within three points of first place in the Atlantic Sun and Florida Gulf Coast. And you look ahead on Saturday, you guys play Jacksonville, so a chance for you guys to maybe really finish pretty high in this Atlantic Sun table. I mean, it's just a, it's, we take one game at a time, and this is our third game in the last f five days, six days. So we got another one on Saturday. So it's a busy week. A four-game week is a busy <laughs> week. And so it beats the five-game week we had about a month and a half ago. So uh, we probably hitting our second win. So we'll, we'll enjoy this for a night and get after it tomorrow. It's a, it was a good game. We played well. Uh, we actually, the coaches set up a good game plan, and we followed it to perfection. And I think we, this is probably one of our best performances yet. So hopefully we can build on that for, towards this game. One of the best build-ups to a goal I've seen in person, uh, Brendan Murphy, Made a nice turn on a counterattack to get you the ball. Walk us through that play going back to when possession was lost and through that counterattack. Yeah, it's just as the coach just said, it was, uh, they told us we going to have the outsides and we should make the counterattacks. And we won the ball in the back. Then we played Dixie got it, played it to Murphy, and put one touch ball through. And I looked and buried it to the side net. Well, it certainly helps to have the uh, the home crowd in Vuvuzelas going with you guys here tonight at NK at the NKU Soccer Stadium. But uh, a bit of a, a funny fact in terms of you, you're the only guy that's scored on this field so far this season for NKU. But you look back at the Lipscomb win, a 2-1 win. All of a sudden, you guys are within three points of Florida Gulf Coast for the top spot in the conference, and that has to give you guys some, some major confidence going into the final portion of your schedule. Yeah, that totally does. So that's that's just exactly what we're going to look to build onto it, so we can play well towards the next games and hopefully get a good result.